Hi, Atonement Family, Pastor Ertl uh, here for, uh, to give you some uh, reminders and some updates. Uh, first of all, just a little bit of encouragement from God's Word. I know it can be quite discouraging uh, for us to not be able to meet together in person um, this coming weekend and, and for uh, whatever number of weekends uh, this happens to be as long as this pandemic continues to go on. But God gives us this encouragement in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Yeah, we may not be able to gather together uh, in person, but the Lord God continues to be with us always. Tonight we have a church council meeting at, at 630 uh, and Ministry here at Atonement going forward during these uncertain times is going to be the big topic of conversation. Uh, we hope to be able to uh, send out an, an update to, to, to keep you in the loop as to any decisions that were made at the meeting tonight. I also do want to give you a reminder and an encouragement uh, to, to log in to our live stream worship this Sunday at 8.15 a.m. We're going to be continuing our, our contrast series uh, as we have throughout the Sundays in Lent, and, and the, the contrast that we're going to be focusing on on Sunday is one found in Romans chapter 8, verses 1 through 10, and that's the contrast between our old sinful nature and our new self that God has made us to be through faith in Jesus. Also this Sunday, I'm going to try to, to upload it at about 9.30, but I want to upload a, a Bible study video, uh, which includes uh, a handout and study guide, kind of like we normally would do on a Sunday morning. And the hope and the goal here is for you to be able to take that study guide uh, and, and, and go through it yourself, uh, potentially also with your family uh, at home. Uh, and then you can also watch the video, to, uh, and, and I'll highlight some things uh, and go through that study guide uh, just to highlight some, some key points for you as well. And, and for that Bible study, it's going to be a continuation of what we started a couple weeks ago with the faith of our fathers, focusing particularly on Abram. Last week in Bible class, when we were still meeting together in person, we talked about uh, Abram and, and how sometimes he, he had moments where he showed his faith in his actions and sometimes when he kind of fell flat on his face in showing his faith. Um, this week we see uh, Abram and Sarai struggle with waiting on the Lord, struggle with patience. I think that's probably something that we can relate to at this point, right? Uh, Abram and Sarai had been promised by God that they were going to have a son, but it was actually going to be years and years and years before God made that promise a reality for them. And so they thought that they had to take matters into their own hands and kind of help God out. Uh, and, and we see that a kind of a, a sinful mess is the result. Uh, that's what we that we what we do when we sinners try to take matters into our own hands rather than uh, contently trusting and patiently trusting in our God. A, a sinful mess kind of results. Yet our gracious God remains faithful to His promises. So once again, uh, would encourage you to log on on uh, Church's YouTube channel for the live stream at eight fifteen for worship, and then also check around nine thirty for that uh, Bible study and materials to be uploaded to YouTube at uh, about 9.30. Until we are able to see each other again face to face, may our gracious God go with you, be with you, bless you, and keep you always in his loving and caring hands. Take care.